a week before I was supposed to fly to the T10, Emirates cancelled their flights to South, to and from South Africa. So you could already see there was something fishy going on there. Um, and then I was booked down to fly on Kenya Airways to to get to Dubai. And actually, while I was at my layover in Kenya, there was a message that came out that they suddenly banned all South Africans from entering the UAE because of this new variant that we have here. Um, so I was stuck at the airport there for a couple of days with them trying to you know, sort out, maybe get government permission for me to go straight into the bio bubble there. Um, got to spend two nights in the Kenyan airport, which was quite fun also. And at the end of the day, it didn't work out for me, so I had to fly back home again. So, you know, that was bitterly disappointing. Um, I was looking forward to going back to playing the T10 again. You know, I enjoyed the format last season and, you know, wanted to go back and, and do well again this year. But, you know, it's out of out of my hands, out of control. And, you know, it just came back and it just gave me two more extra weeks at home spending with the family. That is the <laughs> million-dollar question at this stage. Um, I'm hoping I am. I think everything that we're looking at at this stage you know, suggests that things are getting better and you know, we, we've gone past that initial second spike now and you know, with the vaccine rollout in the UK also, you know, the numbers are coming down. Um, hopefully for me, they'll open up the borders again at some stage. Um, I'm hoping because I'll actually have a work permit to get over there and a contract in place, they'll, they'll let us in. Um, I understand when they, they're not letting in any visitors or tourists or anything at this stage. I mean, it, it is a tough situation and you want to give your country the best chance to survive. Um, and I understand that. I understand the hotel quarantine situation coming in also. And, you know, so at the end of the day, I don't mind doing all of those things as long as they allow me into the country and you know, let me come do what I love doing and come play for Sussex. You know, I'll do whatever they want me to do at this stage. So um, touch wood, May is still a long way away when it comes to COVID. So hopefully things work out and I can come over and spend the season there. You know, I'm really excited to be coming back. Um, at, at some stage there, so it wasn't looking good for me, um, obviously, with the cold pack changing and uh, me having to play as overseas. We had already signed you know, our overseas players for next season. But you know, thankfully for me, when I, when I came over to play in the last blast, um, things went quite well for me. And I, I kind of feel like I, I pushed my case a bit more uh, with me being there. And you know, at the um, end of the day, I think Luke Wright fought really hard for me to to you know, come back as an overseas player again. And I'm grateful for him for instilling that faith in me, for wanting me back. So, you know, when I went over there for the season, I didn't have any contact in place and, and I left with the offer. So that, that's always a comforting thing to know that, you know, you kind of played your part and, you know, you, you did what you, you meant to do. And, and, you know, I'm just excited to, to be coming back again. You know, for me, Sussex has, has been so good to me in the last couple of years. And it was a place that, that I always planned on, you know, ending my career. You know, unfortunately, you know, with the cold pack ending, you know, that might not happen. But, you know, if I get another season to play in the blast, then hopefully we get a couple of clouds in, you know, to entertain again in Hope. And it'll be nice you know, if it's my last season for Sussex to sign off with a good season in front of a couple of people in the stadium. Yeah, we, we had a bit of a lockdown over, you know, the festive season also. But the past couple of weeks, we've eased off a little bit. Our numbers have come down a bit. And you know, luckily for me, gyms have opened up again. So I've, I've been able to keep, you know, the physical side of things going. And also... You know, competitive sports has opened up again also. So I've been training a little bit. Now, I'm fortunate enough to still have a good relationship with the coaching staff and the guys at the Titans where I used to play. So, you know, I can go over there and just train with them whenever I want to and, you know, bowl a little bit there and, and use the outdoor facilities. So, you know, fortunately for me, you know, things have opened up a little bit, yeah, and, you know, outdoor facilities are available for us. So I've just been taking advantage of that and using that as much as I can. Um, I've, I've chatted to them a little bit and, you know, I've said to them that, you know, obviously with me not being a... a call back anymore I'm, I'm a local again and you know i could play and i think it's difficult for them because they've, they've got their contracted players so obviously there's responsibility to those players also and you know because i'm playing in all of these overseas tournaments also i don't think my availability is as much as what they would like it so you know for me ultimately if i was going to play back for the titans again i'd like to make it a full season and you know be available and not just want to pick and choose the whole time and unfortunately for south africa our season always falls in with with the off season where most of the other tournaments take place. Um, so for me at this stage, I've, I've tried to play as many of these T T20 tournaments as possible. And unfortunately they clash a lot with the Titans thing. So, you know, I'll maybe in the future, I'll give it another bash. Yeah, but at this stage, it's just trying to focus on one or two other um, tournaments. I've made peace with the fact that my international career is over. I'm, I'm content with the career that I had. I, you know, I played in the world cup, in the T20 world cup for South Africa. I've, I've played a couple of games, ODRs also. And you know, I decided to to go a different avenue in my career, and I'm you know grateful for 
the opportunity to play to play for South Africa. But in that same sense, also I feel like me going over to Sussex and signing the Colpac deal was the right thing for me to do, and I'm a better player for it now. Um, so, you know, there's no regrets on my side. And in terms of playing for South Africa again, I, I, that, you know, that will, won't happen in my eyes. Um, it's, it's something that that I'm fine with, and even. If I came and you know started playing for the Titans again and became eligible for selection, there's nothing that I would expect. We've got you know, a lot of young, talented players coming through now, and you know, I'm a little bit aged now and you know, moving on in my career. So it's not something I think of at all. And you know, I just focus on you know, every team that I play for just to do my best for that team and you know, come what may from there. I've, I've learned in life that you, know, you, you don't rule anything out and you don't hope, put your hopes on anything either. Um, at this stage... Yes, there are two T20 World Cups coming up in the next two years um, that I, you know, I could see myself playing in there. I feel like I'm a better player now than what I was when I actually did play for South Africa. Um, and you know, if the opportunity comes by for me to play in those World Cups, you know, it'll be difficult to say no. Um, you know, you always want to represent a country and, and you know play against the best in the world. And you know, that's you know that's the world stage, those you know T20 World Cups. So. Yeah, if if a team does come along and, and says to me, you know, do you want to play in the World Cup and we'll offer you this and that, it's something that I will, you know, obviously seriously consider. Uh, but at the end of the day, again, it's not something that I get my hopes up on. It's not something that I'm working towards or striving for, anything like that. It's just, you know, for me, I've only got two or three years left in my career and I want to just play as much as I can and just enjoy it as much as I can. And, you know, when you start putting those unexpected pressures on yourself, you know, you can sometimes start losing focus on the bigger picture, which is just to go out and enjoy yourself. And, you know, so that's, that's just one thing I want to focus on now is that you know, I don't know how many games still have left in me. Uh, this old body's starting to creak a little bit more than what it used to. Uh, so I'm just going out and focusing on every single day and you know, taking every single game at a time. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, if they come calling while I'm over there and you know, they want to put the Duke in my hand, it's, again, it's going to be difficult to say no. Um, I've, I always said that you know, I've, I've got one or two years left in me playing you know, red ball cricket. Um, I still enjoyed the challenge. I still, I still enjoyed going out there and putting myself through those long overs and long spells in the, in the field. Uh, my body might not agree with it as much as what it used to, but you know, if, if the opportunity comes by and they need a, a player for a couple of games while somebody else isn't there, yeah, I'll jump at that opportunity. I still love playing the four-day game and you know, love being out in the battle there with the guys. Um, no, I'm, I'm leaving at the end of the week to the Pakistan Super League. Um, at this stage, it looks like we, you know, we're able to go over there. And I, I think it also helps that we're going straight into a bio bubble, so you know, there's not that much fear about it. Um, so touch wood... I've got my flights booked. I'm flying out the weekend, and you know, hopefully, we get over there and, and everything goes smoothly, and there's no hiccups on the way. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a bit frustrating that you know we kind of getting ostracised a little bit and, and getting excluded from the world. But you know, it's, it's tough times at this stage, and you know, you've got to take it as it comes, and you know, hopefully, things just get better as we go on.